My father was the fourth of five children. Uh, they were raised here in Fayetteville. He was raised right over here on Store Street. His father was a professor of agronomy in the agriculture department. When he came to the university, he played basketball as a freshman, and then he studied music and engineering. When he got out of the university and married my mother, uh, the war erupted. He was called up, he was an officer, and he was sent to Aberdeen Proving Grounds up in Baltimore, Maryland, where he was in charge of testing the largest mortar cannon ever built by the United States Army called the Little David. Then he came back to Arkansas and formed McClellan Consulting and Construction Company. Well, growing up in Fayetteville, we were so immersed uh, with the university, my grandfather teaching, uh, my, my, my parents having gone to school here, and going through the campus every day to high school, it was just a natural thing. As young people, we would uh, sell programs and soft drinks at the football games. So we attended all the games and we were just, it was just part of the community. And so why would I go anywhere else? When I was in college and, and all the civil engineering students were together, none of us could spell very well. It's kind of a joke. And so we called ourselves instead of C-E, C-E, civil engineers, we called ourselves S-I's for civil engineers. And I never knew it, but my father got that joke because there's a photograph that has a picture of my mother and dad going to a party and he's holding a wheelbarrow. And the caption at the bottom of the picture says, SI at work. When I graduated um, in 1967, I went in the Army Reserve on active duty. And when I completed that, I, I moved to Little Rock, Arkansas and I worked for a company called Melberger Engineers, became a vice president of their company. Uh, I worked for them for 10 years, and then I wanted to work with my father, and so I opened an office of his company at Little Rock. And, it's, uh, and I, I ran it for a number of years, and then in 1986, my father retired. We moved the company headquarters from Fayetteville to Little Rock, uh, where the, the headquarters are still there. And a guiding principle that I learned uh, early on uh, is that what keeps me interested in engineering in Arkansas is because we work in different places for different people doing different things. And so it, it just keeps your interest up because there's always a challenge uh, for you. In fact, I have on, on my desk uh, a slogan uh, that I have adhered to my whole career, and that is Arkansas is always first. I would certainly uh, like to thank former Dean and now Vice Chancellor John English, who allowed me to serve on his advisory committee and his campaign committee and be the co-chairman of the campaign uh, that was so successful for the university. Uh, it has been an honor to serve with him and become his friend. My family and I have been so delighted to provide scholarships here at the university for the last 25 years, and it will go on. And we're so pleased at our company that we've been able to employ over 200 uh, civil engineering students while they're in school to give them practical experience and financial assistance um, because we want to give back to the university. And so to have my father and me inducted at the same time with my uncle already in the Hall of Fame is so very, very special.